Hey guys, so this is Mega Snow Lizard doing a review on Transformers Universe uh, Wave War War Wave. What was that stupid line that they were using for the set? Um, oh, there it is. It's a uh, War of the Waves Walmart exclusive um, that I got from I think uh, TF Source. Yeah, TF Source. Uh, first of all. The first one I'm going to be looking at is at Air Raid. Here we go. Now hopefully it's auto focuses. I'm not sure if it will. Let me try to refocus it again. It should be auto focusing. Why not? There we go. So here we are with Air Raid and his um, military cameo forced looking. I have no idea with his extra large laser cannon up in front with these uh, wing add-ons on the side and his um, cap that covers over his Autobot symbol and as you saw on the front there's number 57 with a cube I'm not sure what that's supposed to imply um, he has uh, Autobot insignia in basically molded into his wings it's the same thing with the other side, but you can see it a little bit better, but it's plain green, and his face. So that's, that's okay. As you see, the molding detailing is different on one side than the other, uh, but not that much. And it kind of doesn't make any sense to me, because if this guy's flying in the air and he's green, he'll stick out. So it doesn't really hide him from enemy attacks, really, unless he's like on... I don't know, flying just above the forest floor. Maybe. Maybe. Okay, so um let's go to some transformation phase. Oh, for this part that I just unplugged, you could actually pull this part off too. So his weapon comes in four separate pieces. But you just have to plug it back in if you want to use that. This has the um me con port looking thing. So I think you could actually attach this to a Minicon port onto another figure and use that um, to move things around. I think that's a Minicon port. I'm not sure how well that'll work. I haven't tried it out yet, but just bringing that up. So I'm bring that down. You could detach these extra wing bits on the side and put that stuff away. And uh, you can also detach this part, which is tightly on there and see the Autobot symbol which is kinda cool although I don't think it's worth the universe line really or it's, no it's uh, but it's this other kind of part it's a uh, cyberverse but here we go and the way that you transform this folio it's by you wanna open up the arms first but you basically hold the legs in place then you wanna flip the legs oh first of all <laughs> You want to do okay? It has these weird-looking claw things. Um, uh, I don't know. So you could kind of make a separate. Um, I was trying to do something witty here, but it's not working. Uh, let me detach these. Fold these things around. You can do. Like a funky looking crab mode. Crab. <laughs> I don't know. I'm just it, it, obviously it's not gonna balance. <laughs> but um yeah, you could do that. So you um basically move the arms away, then you fold down the legs. The instruction doesn't really complete that, but you're supposed to pull that up to the side. You open up the feet and the heel on on each foot, then you have it like this. You just turn this stuff down. You have to rotate these wings up. There we go. Then he has this weird automorph feature that if you spin the chest plate then his head turns around. Let me see. I could do it on the camera without ruining it for you guys. Now you see the cockpit flip around. There we go. Then you see his head being revealed. And that's basically it for the transformation. So it says on the instructions. But you could actually tilt this part back. So his head sticks out a little further. But um 
not by much. As you see, there's a whole bunch of empty spot right here. I was really hoping that they would use this piece, like uh, detach this piece again, and be able to like fill that gap or something like that. But it really doesn't do that. So there's your Autobot, and here's the this whole cockpit thing's not really that set. It does limit the articulation of the head, so you know it goes side to side. But there you go. And the shoulder actually goes so far around, but this fin, the shoulder piece hits that fin, so it's not going to move that much. It goes out and in. This has one single elbow joint. The hands don't turn at the wrist. There's no waist articulation. There's a ball joint hip. And there's no knee, but it does rotate at the upper knee area. And the toes go up and down. And the heel does go up and down as well. So there's your air raid. Uh, for his weapon, you can actually piece everything together. So you take this piece, you take uh, this long looking staff thing, um, or you can keep them separate and use it like a, a sniper rifle. You can hold it in his hand like this, with that little peg. But uh, Ignoring that, then you attach these two uh, wing pieces together. Then those two, it looks like a, like a stealth drone when I look at this, so that's pretty cool. Um, then you basically attach these two pegs to those two holes, then you have your weird looking staff thing. There's nothing much that you could do with this cap piece but put it back onto his, uh, on top of his Autobot insignia. So it looks like he has a parasite on his chest, but there you go. Then uh, he could either hold it like this, I have no idea why you will let him do that. And there, There's another peg right over here, you could just plug into his hand, then here we go. <coughs> Why did I pick up this guy? Because I was playing um, War War on Cybertron, and he basically comes. He's one of the characters that comes in for a brief moment to do his duties and whatever whatnot. So I thought that was pretty cool. And let's go look at his counterpart. This is uh, Storm Surge. Which kind of represents to me um, um, Sea Spray or the one I just reviewed, um, Deep something. Forgot. Okay, so there's this weapon on top. You could push this uh, cyber key in and they'll reveal missiles. And then he has a 50. Oh, that's a S7. Sector 7. Oh my gosh. I thought that was a 5. Okay. My bad guys, I should have um, known that from the start. <laughs> so, you guys can leave comments and yell at me later. But yeah, so Sector 7, um, obviously he's a Decepticon. In Sector 7, that doesn't make any sense to me. But you could fold these parts back, but you have to do that first and you have to remove the very hard to remove cyber key. There we go. That's kind of cool. And the weapon on top, you could actually remove too. He does have wheels on the bottom, right here, and it does hide the robot pretty well. I like this figure a lot. Um, not that I'm into hovercrafts that much, but or I'm into hovercrafts that much. This guy looks pretty cool. When you look at him, he looks like actually like a, a vehicle, except that you see the little piece of the head in the back right there. But it's not all that noticeable, especially if you turn it around like that. So. What do we do from here? We basically separate the floater piece from the cockpit. Separate this part out. Okay. You want to pull these up from the sides. Like so. Then you want to bend this whole part down. Uh, and pull. And you, before you do anything, you should split these. But these will become the legs, and they'll be easier because the legs basically bent in on themselves. So we want to extend the legs out. Same thing with the other side. There we go. Then you want to lift up the cockpit to use as your feet. They don't have that much of a heel, except for this piece, which does help with the balance. So, that's pretty cool. Looks kind of smudgy. Like my blue paint has spilled over a little bit on the rest of the body. That looks kind of weird. Okay, so for this part, you just want to lock it into the torso, 
so it's pretty much stuck on there for the head you just want to pull it up and just rotate it around and he has that weird gas looking thing like his other car part uh, I like his head sculpt a lot for his arms they're kind of strange um, you could rotate it around like that and these ones just become claws you just push them back you just see the claw like vice grip for hands but it's very limited in articulation um, now let's go over articulation real fast so his head does go side to side up and down but because of these things it's, <clears throat> it's kinda hard to maneuver your hands in there but it does move around there's no waist articulation it's all locked in place from the torso from the neck down um, the shoulders are on a ball joint so that's pretty cool and it can actually rotate down like that um, and the elbow articulation just goes like this it's kinda of bizarre it only bends in that one direction so that's all you're limited to. It kind of reminds me of the Macross. <laughs> Macross arms with the uh, ships. Doesn't that kind of look like it? Almost? No? Not even close? And he has these awesome turbines on his legs. No? I think it looks like Macross. Uh, I like that big giant mother sh ship, but have you seen the price that that SF SDF-1 is going for these days? It's crazy. So, uh, if you want something awkwardly similar to that, you could get this guy. But, of course, this guy doesn't compare to that at all. And then you have your weapon. Um, <clears throat> ah. He doesn't fit anywhere. Uh, he can't even hold his own weapon. can't even plug it into his chest because his head's in the way. Well, let me see if I can. There you go. Now you could have a gun head. <laughs> that, that looks kind of cool. Okay, anyways. Can't do anything about that. Pull his head back up. Kind of a waste. This is only good for the vehicle mode, which kind of sucks. But if you really need him to help weapons, you can always throw in the cyber key again, and now he has shoulder missiles. And that's a, that doesn't look too bad either. I really like this guy because all the joints are really tight. He doesn't jingle around at all, so um, this guy's pretty cool. So this is a quick review of Storm Surge, and the, he's a Decepticon. Now, I don't see any uh, symbols on him except for that. Unless you guys see it and I don't. But yeah, he's pretty cool. Um, always remember to fold these in first before you move the cyber key. I think it messes up some of the gears. And so this is Mega Snow signing off with another uh, Transformers review. See you guys next time.